John, you are about to meet members of what could truly be called a heavy metal band, but not what you would traditionally think of as, as metal, uh, and not as actually what you traditionally think of as music. Matt Markovich found these garage musicians in a garage. Take a look. We are the, the metal, metal men. men. Uh, hi, I'm Kevin, and this is... This is my secret workshop here, somewhere hidden in the greater Pacific Northwest area. And uh, I make sculpture and metal, metal and concrete creations of amazing things. I'm Eric. I teach physics. I build things. I wreck them. I make a lot of noise. Hi, I'm John. I'm an artist, sculptor, musician, and restaurateur. So the real name of piano, the Italian name, is a piano forte, and the whole point of the piano was, like we said, to play sound, sound and loft. <laughs> so piano meaning soft or gentle or just with the lightest touch, and then forte is strongly. So. Really smack that string. Whereas the piano is just ever so gently, it just touches the string. It just touches the string, just kisses it, and returns. The key to the development of Western music was uh, the de development of a, uh, an ability to do dynamics. People uh, think that the kind of music that we listen to today was always a part of, of music, but no. Um, 500 years ago, the kind of music that people listened to was uh, far less dynamic, and we have the piano to thank for that. People worked uh, really for, for more than a century to develop the mechanism that we've tried to put together here, where the key is, if, if pressed softly, strikes the string softly, and if pressed firmly, strikes the string firmly, and it creates a, a tremendous dynamic range in music. And certainly the metal men, uh, while uh, not really uh, friends of musicians, or uh, <laughs> loved, loved by musicians, are certainly loved by all dynamicists everywhere for their dynamic and uh, loud, thunderous performances. So we, we feel uh, kind of a special relationship with the, uh, the forte. An old toxic barrel for the resonator. Was a toxic barrel important? Uh, it was important to, to have a toxic barrel in, in keeping with the true metal men feel to add an element of danger. Um, as you can see, there's no saw blades, no sharp protruding objects. Which where, is... where are the flames? No, the metal men are junkyard musicians. We don't know much about playing softly, so we thought we would investigate by making an instrument that played both loudly and softly. Uh, the piano forte, or as it's become known, the piano, soft loud. Yeah, the whole history of the piano, the whole reason for its existence is back, back in the old days, back in the day, um, all they had were harpsichords. And the only thing a harpsichord could do was pluck a string with the same intensity every time you press the key. I mean, they, were, they looked exactly like pianos do now, but it's like every time you press the key, you get exactly the same sound out of it. And that's beautiful. But it's boring after a while, yeah, like a hundred years. Yeah, imagine playing chopsticks over and over again for five minutes. Or a hundred years. <laughs> yeah, or a hundred years. <laughs> our, uh, tensioner beam, it is not standard uh, piano practice, but basically it's a giant lever. We need to uh, make this cable as taut as possible in order to get the uh, Maybe not as possible, but very taut in order to get the tone right. Because if it's too loose, you don't get any sound. It's, it's a too low a frequency. So the idea is that we tension this, this bad boy up, and we have a big lever that ends anchored to the floor. And on that end, we stack a whole lot of weight.